Hi, this is Emily from Triple G Gaming, and welcome back to Celestian Tales Old North. So we left off, they left me to either sleep or walk around, so I'm going to walk around a little bit more, kind of see where I am. Oh, there's bird noises. Oh, who are you? Can I talk to you? Come back, I want to talk to you. Okay, well, that's kind of basic. Oh, it's a commoner. I'll be nice and talk to you. You're one of the new squires. I hope you enjoy your stay. Eleven times a nice city to live in. I want to talk to the horse. Can I talk to high horse? I can't talk to the horse. I can't go in the door. Ooh, I guess this would be where we're training. Oh, who are you? Please don't bother her while she's cooking. I guess I shouldn't be in the kitchen. Okay, yeah, I don't need to talk to anybody else. I will just head to sleep and then start training the next day. Dang it, that's not what I want to do. Long room. More rest. So everybody's gone from their room. To the stables. Who's this woman just sitting down here? But what about fun time? Someone left their book on the floor. What if I want to sleep over? So rude. Denying me my sleepovers. Okay, so there seems to be a fair amount of save points. Okay. My people are here. I'm late. Shit. Horses are merely their crucial companions. Give mobility and power of men to them. Land strike. From a mounted knight can devastate even the toughest of foes on a single impact. Power and mobility aren't the greatest advantage these horses give. Instead, it is to be noticeable. Mounted commanders are easily seen by their foot soldiers. They command can be better heard. Baron Riviere, the legendary knight known as the Moonblade, is known to be very skilled in mounted combat. A knight's mount is his status symbol. Such were his words of wisdom. This is outrageous. Why must we wallow in this, this cesspit? We are learning to be knights, are we not? We should be on top of those horses, not behind them. Fortunately, princess, that applies to knights, not squires. Then what is the point of doing this? Tis useless to learn what we will never need to do. To do this again or not is, isn't the point of this training, squire. Yes, you will probably never do this ever again. But someone will have to do it. Someone will have to clean your horses for you. So that you can sit and lounge around lazily. Someone will have to feed them so they have the strength to carry you on their backs. Do you notice that there are people, real people, doing all these things for you? Just like what I thought. Then this is a perfect training for you. I'll be back in a while. Don't stop picking up those nice, squishy balls of dung. Just because I'm a princess doesn't mean you have to be a dick. Durr, so when Lord Allen talked about duty, he meant shoveling shit out of the stables. The master at arms did have a point there, though. Most nobles tend to forget that there are people doing the small things we take for granted. I know, but still. 
I guess this is just not the kind of training I imagined it'd be. Thou and I both, Reynard. This kind of lowly task is truly beneath nobility. Eat, please don't bite me. Don't worry, Camille. She's quite sweet, see? See? You can power her like this. She won't bite you if you're nice to her. I, I see. I'm not used to all these, uh, tasks. As with me, and I would imagine none of us is. That grammar, though. Yet it seems Lucine and Isaac are moved by this horrible stench. How could he stand it? Me? Well, it's a bit different for me. Been the Lyrid's cavalry since I was fourteen. I'm used to horses now. Fourteen? I would imagine thou need some training before being accepted into the ranks. Was it because thou were a Lyrid that the cavalry allowed thee and in at such a youth? Of course not. The LaRue hold their banner with pride, and even I had to earn my place there. Oh, she was angry at me. It's why my lord uncle started teaching me to fight ever since I could handle a weapon. Back then I was seven, if I recall correctly. Seven? Dear Je, isn't it rare for a girl to train so early? Maybe I've been watching Lord Uncle since I was little, though, so it wasn't that odd for me. I guess if... It's the Ravager that teaches you it's to be expected. Wait, what? You were trained by the Ravager himself? He's my uncle. There's nothing weird about being taught by your uncle. Yes, but not everyone has the privilege of being the pupil of the legendary Lord Severin. Um, Eel is a little lost. Who is this person you're talking about? Lord Severin LaRue, also named the Ravager. Perhaps the greatest swordsman alive in the realm. Legend has it that he's won a hundred wars and has never been defeated in battle. I think I've heard about him battling the Fey foes as well. Do the elves never talk of him? Hmm, no, not really. We don't speak about humans that much in general. You used to think that you are enigmatic ig creatures roaming the world outside the forest. If anyone's in mad, that would be the elves, Le Yelani. Anyway, I want to personally see what someone trained by the Ravager can do. Set a challenge, De La Forêt. Hey, stop chatting and finish your work, squires. Then if you don't work faster, I'll make you clean the chamber pots as well. Finished at last. Now, can we take a bath, O oh Master at Arms? A bath? Far from it. Your task for the day is merely halfway done. Do you see this entire carriage full of dung? You have to deliver it to Mudtown, west of the city. Mudtown? Is that a town made of mud? No, not really. So then why is it called Mudtown? Because there's a river and it's muddy? I don't know, kid. It's just a name. So why are we taking this dung pile there? Do they need it for something? For fertilizer. Gotta send them fresh so the villagers can grow us good vegetables. Hmm. What's that I hear? Did you just say chuckle at me, boy? Ha. Another timid squire, I see. Not even brave enough to admit what he did. Is this how you want to live your nightly life, Isaac? Hiding when you're confronted? Is that... Wussy kind of life, the one you're aiming for? If not, then tell it to my face. Manure isn't used fresh, Master at Arm. They have to compost for weeks before it can be used. Use it straight from the horse. It won't be vegetables that grow, but weeds. Really? Yes, fresh dung contains too much water, which makes it easy for weeds to grow. If left to compost, the dung will dry up, which makes it easier for vegetables to grow. That's surprisingly insightful, Isa. Ooh, some shipping going on. Now, instead of being known as meek, others will think you are knowledgeable. You do seem to know how about agriculture. Do plainsmen do a lot of farming? Not that much. I just learned about it. Now, listen up, squires. This is a very important lesson. Most often than not, traveling is a dangerous task. Everywhere, roads are infested with wild animals and criminals alike. To mitigate these dangers, you should split into parties of three and prepare for encounters. 
A party of three can work well together. More than that, and a fight can turn cluttered and chaotic. Also, while three stand in the front lines, others can handle other tasks, such as guarding the car. I would prefer to take the vanguard rather than being in the proximity of this horrendous stench. Me too, let me go ahead and have a swing of my eyes. You know, it'll take a while to have all of you fight over what, who does what. So here's how it'll go. Area pick two to go with you and range ahead. The rest will stay with the cart and depart a few minutes after you. Ah, at last some respite from this torturous air. A character join the party. You can switch active party members to the reserve at any time out of combat. To do it, access the menu and change the party composition. The active party is a team that will fight battles. The party leader cannot be set to reserve and must always remain in the active party. Do you understand? Yes. Be careful of the mongrels. The mountain roads can be treacherous. Um. Yeah, that seems like the best option. Actually, I kind of want Camille. Because Lucine's strong, so she can help those two. Okay, so that's very cool that we have a lot of... Oh, and then if you get more accessories... Cool. So technically, your main person is the person you chose by the look of it. Okay. Do I have to pick up the cart? Okay. It's very interesting. Running around at the speed of sound. But not really. Should I talk to you? I can't tell you. I'm trying to get out of this place. I don't know what I do. I'm just trying to get out of this city. I really have no clue how to escape the city. Another Sonic reference. I just keep running down, thinking maybe I'll be able to leave. But not by the looks of it. This is very confusing. Okay, this. How do I leave here? I'll talk to you. Okay, that makes sense. How do I get out of here? This is very confusing. Because he told us we had to leave. Dang it, there's a wall there. Oh, now I'm gonna get stuck from the merchants. I don't think we have money. Okay. The right side of the church. Oh, and then you can read about the different places, the main characters, the known characters, and the different houses. Cool. Okay, it said the west 
and I'm in the east, which probably is the wrong way, considering it's the east. Okay, so I'll go back this way. Excuse me. You jerk. Well, I guess I did come from this bridge. So I have to go west. Dang it. Forgot I had to press the button. Run, run. Okay, if I just keep going east, perhaps I'll hit a pathway. Can't something shiny. I don't know what those do. Hmm. Said it was east of a church in the commons. I'm assuming I have to go down here. Because this is still the noble area. It's set in the common. So I guess keep going and then go up and east? I'm not sure. Or go up and west. I'm going east right now. Okay, here's a cemetery. Is this the way I need to go? Okay, yeah. So we're just going to do a quick save. We'll head into the mountains. I hope it counts that we took the dung pile of stuff with it. Okay. I could fight them. I probably should fight them. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Okay, we'll fight them. Dang it, I guess I should not have tried that. Ooh, what are her skills? Oh, she did inflict bleed. Or she killed him, actually. She killed the spider. Oh shit, he's dying. Glad I noticed he was dying. Yeah, we did it.
Shit, I tried to avoid it. Yeah, the spiders don't take too much time to defeat. So I thought it might be a better idea to kill them first. Now that I know. There's really no point in wasting any effects. I don't see why he's not attacking though. There we go. And we win! I hope I'm going the right way. Oh, okay, there we are. Greetings, villagers. We are here to deliver the contents of this card on behalf of Lord L. Look at that, such a big pile. Ugh, indeed, and the stench is sickening. Is it really? Ah ha ha, it is somewhat, but at least there were beasts to fight. Thought it was going to be a boring trip, but that was kind of fun, I'd say. Why are you happy to hurt animals, Reynard? Do humans find it fun? Of course, the heat of combat, the feeling of your weapon hitting a foe, it's exhilarating. Ill doesn't understand. Don't worry, Ill, me neither. The cart is yours now. Please take care of it. We will, miss. Please inform Lord Levant that we are truly grateful for this. Never has I seen someone so happy over Dawn. In the castle, the heap is nothing but filth, but here they have their uses. Turning filth into something useful, Lord Allen does know what his people need. You'll think it's very clever. She will tell her mother about this one day. Is this how a wise man rules? Duty to the people, huh? At any rate, we should return. The sun will set soon. Right now, design endurance, no, no bound, Lucine. I would assume that it does not. Why don't we take a look around a bit before walking back? Seeing how the commoners are doing is part of, the, part of a noble's duty, too, right? That's a good idea, really. Very well. Let's take a rest for a while before going back. I guess I'll talk to people. The soil isn't good. Block the fertilizer, it helps. So now they have fishes because of the Lord. I feel like I shouldn't try to steal people's stuff. And there's no one in here anyway. Yeah. It's definitely not this big from the outside. It's a TARDIS. Yeah, likes this village. It's so peaceful, so different from the city and castle. The village reminds Yell of her home. Do many humans live like this? Unfortunately, Mudtown is an exception. Since it's only reachable from Leventine, the village has always been safe from outlaws. Not many can say the same. Indeed, prosperous villages are rare out there. If there are any, they often become ripe targets for bandits and marauders. The realm is a dangerous place, Yelan. It's not always like this. Sometimes people are so poor they have no choice but to become bandits. Living honest lives isn't enough to feed their families and still they must pay taxes to the nobles. Wouldn't you do that as well? You may see the outlaws simply from the surface, but there's always a bigger story behind it. Nobody wants to be criminals, because they're born evil. Isaac, 
There's no need to put ourselves in that place. This valor has created the lowborns to serve us, the noble caste. In turn, we are to guide and protect them. Tis how the Dus wrote the world, and tis how it should be. If one can now afford to pay taxes, they may serve the realm in other ways, such as becoming soldiers. Never is there an excuse to take what is not rightfully thine. Such atrocities simply cannot be justified. Hey, I agree with that. Soldiering is much more exciting than a peaceful life anyway. Seriously, don't people get bored here? There's no fight, no dangers. So I'd die in a week. Hey, boy, yes, you there. Yes, you boy, come here. Yes, master, did you call for me? Is there any giant beasts around here we can hunt? Any renegades we can squash? No, there's nothing like them around here. See, it's so boring. Don't you agree with me, kid? Well, a bit. Are there always giant beasts, robbers, and renegades outside, master? I've always wanted to leave the village and travel, but I don't know what's out there. You should be thankful you have good crops every year and not starve. Some villages out there are starving to death. If those kinds of people want to leave their home, I can understand. But here, this village is already far better off than most in the realm. Why would you even want to leave? It's... It's my father, young master. I want to go outside my village to look for him. He hasn't returned for years, and I haven't heard anything from him. But I'm sure he must be out there, somewhere. Are you sure you want to do that? It's a dangerous world out there, and different kind of place in this peaceful village. A boy like you won't survive for long. How are you going to find him if you can't take care of yourself? I, I guess you're right, miss. A kid like me would have a little chance fighting beasts or bandits. But I can always avoid them, right? Avoiding enemies might be easy at first glance. But life isn't that simple. There will be inevitable encounters that you will have no choice but to face. The more you avoid enemies, the less trained you'll be physically and mentally. There'll be fewer fights. The ones you have to face will be harder. That doesn't just go for you, it goes for us as well. That's why it's not always wise to avoid enemies be just because we're lazy. I see then, I guess I should start training from now on. After everything she said, you're still going to leave this village someday. Of course, master. If words can put my spirit down, how am I ever going to find my father? Ah, look at this young lad. More villagers should learn from your confidence. What's your name, brave kid? It's Cameron, master. Cameron, huh? Good luck finding your father. If we ever meet again, tell me what you've seen in your trucks. Now go back to what you were doing. The crops won't farm themselves, you know. Will do, master. Thank you for encouraging me. You shouldn't have encouraged him, Reynard. He's but a kid. Ha, ah, the girl who started wielding a weapon at seven wants to lecture me about this? Good point. It's getting late. We should get going, Master. The arms must be waiting for us. I guess we can go back. Ooh, there's stuff here. Tiny white crystal. Is there any save point in here? Nope. There is more stuff to find. Ooh, so I can buy things. Or I can sell things. Um, I don't need to sell anything right now. Because I'll be back soon. And then I can go over what I have in the next episode. So let's head back. Oh, here's a safe point. So actually, we are going to save right here. And that'll be all for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!